you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, how do I get all trails maps on my Garmin watch? Well, lucky for you, it's really easy and I'm gonna guide you through a step-by-step -step process. All you're gonna need is either a laptop or a computer with an all trails account. Now, if you have an all trail plus account, it's gonna make this a little bit easier, but you definitely do not need it. All right, let's dive right in. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it from a desktop. All right, first off, we're going to open up all trails and you're just gonna find whatever trail you want to go on. Uh, let's have some fun here. Let's pick Palmer Buckskin Charlie. Looks like an interesting one. All right, you're just gonna go to the front page here, the trail information, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit, hit the trail. Now, if you have All Trails Plus, you can really easily send it to your Garmin, um, clicking Send to Garmin. Uh, this is assuming that you have your Garmin connected to your All Trails account. So it's really easy if you do have it, you just click on that. However, I'm gonna show you how to do it if you don't have All Trails Plus. And the first thing you're gonna do is go to Export Map File. And then you can choose whatever one you want, but GPX Track is totally fine. Um, not all of them are supported by Garmin but GPX works just fine. So you're just gonna hit export and it's gonna download your GPX file right here. And you just wanna put that into a folder that you're familiar with. Next up, you're gonna to go to your Garmin Connect uh, website homepage here and just go over to the left and you're gonna to wanna to navigate over to training and planning and then go down to courses. From here, you can see all your courses that you've previously uploaded. Um, but since we don't have any here, we need to import the previous one we just downloaded. So click on import and then hit browse to select the course. Go back over to where you had saved that file, that GPX file from all trails and just insert it in here and just hit get started. It's gonna prompt you for a few other information. Um, so in this case, let's just say we're going hiking. You can rename your course right here you can do some other information. I'm gonna leave it pretty basic right now. I just want the course and just hit save. And then you can make it public or private. In this case, I'm just gonna make it private, hit save, and then here you are. And now you have the course right in your homepage. And now all you need to do is head over to your app on your phone that is connected to your Garmin watch and just hit sync and it will pop up from there. All right, next, we're gonna get into how to download maps from your iPhone or Android. Um, unfortunately, All Trails doesn't allow you to download directly from the app, so you do have to do a little tricky workaround. Um, so let's jump into it. All right, first, just pull up uh, All Trails um, specifically in a browser. You do not wanna be inside the app. Uh, so let's just find a random trail. Let's do uh, Perkins Central Garden Trail. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that you want to make sure you are signed in because you have to be signed into at least a free account. All right, so let's do Perkins Central Garden Trail in Garden of the Gods. Love that place. Uh, next, you're going to go to download the big green button. And really important, um, you want to make sure if you have All Trails Plus, you can send it straight to the Garmin Connect app by hitting send to Garmin. Um, in this case, I won't be going through how to do that. It's really easy though. You just send a Garmin and then open up your Connect app. You can skip a few steps. However, uh, I'm expecting most people not to have Plus, so all you need to do is go to Export Map File, GPX Track, and then Export. And that's gonna save it at the bottom here. And you just wanna hit Save one more time. Uh, you can save it to wherever you want. In my case, I'm gonna do Files. And then next, you're gonna hit open in. And you wanna make sure you are opening in the Garmin Connect app right there. And it's gonna ask you how you wanna save the course. In this case, I'll just do hiking. And it's gonna pop up right there on the map. And then you just wanna hit save in the bottom left-hand corner. And there you go. Simple as that. Now you can see all of your courses inside of your Garmin Connect app is really easy. And then from there, all you need to do is, is sync to your watch and you have all those maps on your watch. 
All right, I hope you got some value out of this video. Leave a comment down below. Which watch are you using right now from Garmin? I've been really eyeing the Garmin Phoenix 8. It's a pretty sick watch. Haven't gotten it yet. I'm still rocking the Garmin 965. All right, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. It means a whole bunch. See ya.